John 17, 6. Ephanero sasu ta anima tois anthropois, hus edo kosmoi ek tu kosmu, soi esan, kamoi altus edokas, kai ton logon su teterekan. Here we overhear Jesus continuing to pray to the Father. He says, I revealed your name, right? speaking to the Father, I revealed your name, and notice the prominent placement of Su pulled forward here. We might normally expect it at this place. I revealed your name to the people whom you gave to me out of this world. I revealed your name to the people whom you gave to me out of this world. Yours they were, and to me them you gave, and you gave them to me, and your word they have kept. Let's begin by noticing a couple of words here that have an extra accent. Some of you might have noticed, you thought, I thought Greek words had one accent. Why do these words have two? And then you notice they're followed by these little bitty words that are classified as enclitics. The word enclitic means, it comes from the Greek, literally means to lean in. These words lean in on the previous words for their accents, or you could think of it as them sort of throwing their accent on the previous word. Let's also look at this uh, first word in the verse, ephanerosa, right? And uh, this is from phanerao, phanerao, which means to reveal. You'll notice that there is an augment here. You'll notice a sigma, bam, that's going to be an aorist active indicative, and that's a first person singular ending. Jesus speaking here, I revealed. Remember the aorist just presents an action as a whole, including the beginning and the ending. It usually an aorist indicative, 85% of the time, and an aorist indicative is just translated like a simple past. I loosed, I looked, I revealed. I revealed your name. Let's also look at these forms here, adokas, adokas. And when you see a da or do, you don't know what it's from, it's going to be from ditto me. And you see this kappa, you might think, oh, that's a perfect, because 24k gold is perfect gold, but no. This is the uh, er, these are the aorist forms. The perfect would be de doka or de dokas. Notice it would have reduplication, not just an augment there. Remember, me, me verbs will frequently take a kappa to form their aorist. So both of these forms are parsed as aorist active indicative, second person singular. Jesus speaking here to the Father. You gave, you gave. 